Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm showing you how I iron and interface pieces to get ready to actually do a sewing video. Let's get started. All right guys, welcome to my current ironing table setup. Um, this is just a cabinet, you can't really tell, but it's just a cabinet. I actually got this off the side of the road uh, in hard rubbish, which is awesome. I love just recycling and repurposing stuff. So this is an NCW that I need to make, and I just thought I'd show you how I iron them in my new setup. So I've got two rolls of stuff. This is my medium woven. I've also got my non-woven heavy interfacing up there. Uh, so four, these are also, they slide along, so you can adjust it to where you need. In a perfect world, I would have kept my longer cabinet because then it's the full width of fabric, but we can't win them all. So the first thing I'm going to do is I always try and line it up as close to the edge as possible so I waste as little as possible. And then I'm going to take one of my Teflon sheets and I'm going to iron heavy onto the inside piece. Um, different people do it different ways. This is what I have found works best for me. I like the outer shell to be thick. I also always put rivets in them so if you're not riveting you might want to use a lighter interfacing because then you're gonna have to sew through it but I always use rivets anyway so or when there's vinyl on the outside when it's all fabric I stitch the sides but when I'm using vinyl on the outside because this is gonna match the bag that we're gonna make with it I'm gonna do it this way so from here I usually have a tub but I'm out we take the scissors I've always got a pair of scissors here now and I just cut it directly off any dodgy bits like this here, this is useless, so I will cut it off and throw it in the bin. What I personally do is make a pile because the bin's not next to me. Um, if I'm doing lots and lots of ironing, I will actually drag the bin over because it works out way easier. Like if I'm ironing two or three bags at a time, the iron here is much easier. So I just cut off those bits. I do know that sometimes people would still use them. That's not me. I like solid interfacing under my stuff. Now, sometimes, on the edges specifically, it might not be as well stuck. So th these edges, I can tell you right now, they're not stuck down properly and well. So I'm going to roll that up because I'm finished. Well, I'm not finished with that, but I'm just going to roll it up, flip it over, and steam iron it from the back. Personally find that this works out the best way for me. And then that way, it's all wonderfully stuck together. So that's now the lining, or your outside, or both. So that's those bits done. We can pop them aside. I also need to do the zipper card section, which there should be two of these. Oh, I clearly missed a bit, but that's all right. Again, add it to the rubbish pile. So I'm going to line it up. I like to have minimal waste if it's at all possible. It's not always possible. Like because there's curve, you're always going to get these weird pointy bits. I will just cut them off as I go. It's fine. I usually do four to eight seconds and then move this around. Um, another way, I know not everybody likes doing this. I know a lot of people cut it out first. I have just personally found that this works best for me. Um, if I didn't have the ironing board, I'm just going to cut all the way across for that. If I didn't have the ironing board, I would have these on a roll and this would then be a cutting board and I could cut all the shapes here and then put them in the heat press. So it just depends on which way you want to do it. I have toyed with that idea, but I really do personally just like this way better. These are not perfect squares, so I'm making the edges line up the way I want them to. And I can still see through this, so I can see where the edge of my fabric is. I do think that helps. I also, generally speaking, I like to do the edges first and then the middle. Chop that off 
And then again, I'm gonna flip them over and just give them a quick steam iron just to make sure they don't sit because, uh, don't lift, because they're gonna sit for, I don't know what video I'm gonna do today. I might do this. I might not even record this. I might just have it as part of the set. Okay, so what's left is, I don't iron the zipper pocket pieces, so they won't get an iron, but I will put interfacing on the back of the card slots. So that will be this stuff here, which is the medium woven. So again, line it up, smooth it down. If you find that your fabric has like folds and creases in it, iron it first and then iron it to your interfacing so you don't get weird bits. The steam iron was on then, which was not meant to happen, but it happens. Sometimes I do just forget. I really do find this way quicker than me individually cutting it and then lining it up, just personally. Okay, take those bits, add them to the rubbish pile. Again, if you want to, we can steam the back of this. And the last thing to do is the card slots. I'm gonna turn steam off so I don't burn myself. I always roll these back up. I will not need this anymore. Instead, in my drawer here, this is my magical card slot maker. I do have a video on how to make one for yourself, but it is essentially all of the fold lines, and this is a straight edge so I can see. You, you can just use the edge if you want to. Um, I really enjoy having the line there though. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna line it up against the top edge and that side line. I always like to have two clips. And apparently I always accidentally grab red, but whatever. So then I, I use my fingernails, again this is why I love them, and I'm going to kind of smooth the fabric down and then go up to that first crease and then we're going to bring it down like that and I'm going to iron that first crease. We Also if you heat up the fabric it might go a little bit easier as well. So we're going to fold up and down, up and down. You're going to make sure they all line up at the edge. Now I can tell you right now, mine are, see how they're slightly out? That matters. So we're going to go back and fix it. Sometimes it doesn't take much. Once they're all folded, I'm going to come down and shoot it with steam. If your iron has that option, awesome. If not, you're just going to have to hold it there a bit longer. Because the thicker parts, it's harder to get the heat down. So now I'm going to put my fingers like this and just gently pull it away so that everything's still where it needs to be. And then we're gonna shoot it with steam a second time. Now, depending on what fabric you've used, this is a woven with no interfacing, so it's pretty easy to do. Um, also, using my thin waterproof canvas makes this very, very easy. You don't even need to use steam. Card slots achieved. If you've interfaced yours, which you might want to, who knows? It will take more heat and steam and time to crease it properly. So I'm just going to do it again because I've got another one here. So you can, if you want to, basically iron slash stick it to the fabric, uh, to the cardboard, and then we're just going to fold and fold and fold. Now these do, over time, go crap. Can't be helped. Um, residue and the constant steam will eventually make it um, like soggier. So you do have to remake them a couple of times, but it depends on how many you make. So this particular template works for the NCW my Haridan pattern, my Seductress pattern, um, and probably some other people's stuff. 
card slots, generally speaking, all of this part is the same on every pattern. It's just how much of a top you have. So you could actually use this for other patterns that have more of a gap at the top um, because the card slot parts are always the same in all patterns. But there you go, that is now ironed, interfaced, ready to go. I can now go, I've got to go trim off the excess of this, but then we can just start sewing. Um, I hope that might give you some inspiration for your own. If you're wondering what's on the other side of here, it's my husband's shed. We don't open this door. I don't need his dust in here. All right, guys, I'll see you next time. Bye.